Hey, my name is Bennett. This is Living My Alaska, and we're going salmon fishing in Seward, Alaska. But on the way, we stop in at the amazing Alaskan Nature Center where there are some absolutely beautiful wild creatures. I can't wait to share that with you. So let's go right now. Hello, another van trip from Living My Alaska. Yep, we're headed to Seward, Alaska for some salmon snagging, specifically sockeye salmon. And then we're headed to the beautiful little ocean town of Seward for our favorite salmon of all, sockeye salmon. Red salmon, love it. All right, let's go. Okay, so we've found the campground. This is down Nash Road in Seward. It's called the Seward Fishing Beach. We're going to ride around a little bit and find a spot and we'll get back with you. And I see men walking out with fish, so that makes me excited. Seward, Alaska Public Fishing Beach. Heading out to try our luck at salmon snagging. This is a first for us. We've never done this here. So I think we can cross here. Let me check it. Yeah, it's real shallow here. I'll walk next to you just in case. <laughs> Things we do for adventures in Alaska. There you go. Why don't you let me put that on my, okay, you're good? Oh good, when we start getting fish in it. Yeah, it's gonna be heavy, okay. I kinda like it over there where that guy is by himself. <laughs> Tighten this drag up. That should do it. <laughs> it's a bald eagle. He's waiting for us to catch a fish. So what we're doing is we're sling this big treble hook out there we're dragging it to the, through the water in a very quick pace. And these are hatchery fish. The local hatchery hatches millions and millions of these little minnows every year. And they go into the ocean and swim around in the deep ocean. And when they mature, they come back to the place they were spawned, which is this bay. And all for the purpose of us catching them and eating them. We're a bit early. We're waiting for high tide and then the tide to start dropping again. Because in theory, the fishing will be better on the outgoing tide. Do, 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 do. This is what it's about. Do this until you get tired or too cold to stand and hope at the end of it you have some fish. Fish on! I think. I'm afraid we caught each other. Oh, darn it. <laughs> Perfect. Here you go. <laughs> Shucks. I thought we had a fish. <laughs> Dang it. It was pulling like a fish. It's like nobody's throwing over there. I think it's real shallow. I can try. No fish. Standing in the cold water, doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. Fishing in Alaska is often insanity. And we've had no success. Dawn has already gone back to the van to warm up. It's chilly out here. And my shoulder is sore from slinging this hook out into this water, and I haven't seen anyone catch anything for the last hour. So I think it's time for me to go in as well. We'll try again tomorrow. Nothing. <laughs> no. Oh yeah? I figured on the when the tide would change maybe my luck would change but it did not. Did you see anybody catch anything? No, about about two hours ago I saw you know a couple on this end. Yeah. But that was it and nothing since then. And my, my feet are cold and I'm hungry. That's what made me luck here. <laughs> Good luck to you. <laughs> I think we can cross here. I'm hungry and I'm cold. It's time to go bother my wife. Day two of salmon fishing. Struck out last night and nothing. So we'll try it again today. Yeah, we were stopped, but not today. Not today, we're gonna give it a shot. No cruise ships in today, but it's still early. Later this month, through the rest of the season, there'll be some huge cruise ships coming in and out of here. So this is a big mud flat. Normally, at high tide, this is covered in water. Uh, what, 10 feet tide change? Alaska has some of the largest tide changes in, on the planet. Quite the scene out here. It's kind of just fun to come out here and watch. Step in. Crossing that stream is a bit challenging. Crossing cold, fast rivers in Alaska is one of the more dangerous things you can do, and there's a trick to it. Okay, attempt number three. We're searching for sockeye salmon. And as you can see, the tide is out. This is the giant tidal flat. So we're headed out to the edge of the beach. And look at all the people out here, all trying to do the same thing we're doing. No luck yet. My shoulder is shot from two days of slinging that hook through the water and I'm tired. So I handed it off to Dawn 
and she's trying her hand at salmon snagging. So far, no luck. And it seems as if they're catching salmon all the way around us, but not us. And that's kind of hard to swallow, but we still had a grand time. It's a beautiful place. Seward is so pretty in the summer. The panoramic views in every direction. This is Dawn's first time throwing a treble hook trying to catch snag salmon. So uh, I'm hoping there's some beginner's luck because I've spent many hours doing it and I've completely failed. Hurry up. Oh my love, I hate to admit defeat, but defeat or cold. We've been defeated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we tried. But it was a fun time trying. It's a good thing we don't have to live off what we catch and kill because we'd be very skinny. Uh, might have to go to McDonald's. Not necessarily the diet plan I was looking for. No, starvation. We surrendered with no fish and that's how it really happens in Alaska. More often than not we had big hopes for this place we've never been to, this beach. We've never tried to snag salmon here and this time it was a big bust. Good thing we have food in the van. We're so glad you're here to do this with us and I really wish we could have caught a fish for you. Don't give up. Oh yeah there's a lot more summer to come. It's time for a break. You can drive through this or you can walk, and my preference is to walk. Hi. Hey there. Two people, and we're both Alaska residents. Perfect. You're all set. Thank you very much. You. Have a good day. I don't want to rush you. I know we look at things at different speeds. I don't want to lose you, though. Feeding time. My favorite animal to watch in this nature center is these wolves. I find them absolutely amazing. What a beautiful creature this is. So we're coming up on a bison herd here. I think historically bison were part of Alaska, but they were gone for a while, but bison have been reintroduced into Alaska. See some little babies in there, some young calves, and that's definitely a big bull bison right here in front of me and several other bulls. So here at the Alaska Wildlife Center, you can adopt an animal and help them fund the research and the care of these creatures. There are two types of bison apparently. I did not know this. Plains bison and wood bison. Wood bison are the larger of the two. 1929, the Roosevelt elk calves, eight of them were placed from Washington State on a fog knock and raspberry island near Kodiak. And they've thrived out there since then. Well, I, you know, I, I don't know that. I thought elk shed their antlers. Apparently these did not. <laughs> if anybody ever watches this and if they know whether elk shed their antlers or not, let us know and put a comment in the description. Oh, there he is right there, look. That's the little one.
so glad you could come with us on this adventure to Seward, Alaska at the Seward Public Fishing Beach in our attempt to snag sockeye salmon. So far, we've been a complete failure at this, but it was still a beautiful trip, and we have so much more to share with you. I have so many great, cool videos. Check out some of our playlists. They're all really great. Check them out now on Living by Alaska. We'll see you again soon. Thank you so much for watching as we hunt, we harvest, we homestead, and we adventure our way through the last frontier. Please like, subscribe, and share our videos because we have so much more to share with you as we show you what it means when we say we are living my Alaska. See you next time.